What's up vapers? Nick here for Spin Fuels Daily Vape TV. Today is Fresh Build Friday and today we're going to be trying a triple twisted using 28 gauge, 30 gauge, and 32 gauge Canthal. Um, going for probably six wraps per side and I have no idea the resistance it's going to be but hopefully it's pretty low down there. Um, without further ado, let's get building. So the first thing you want to do is cut about a foot off of each wire and organize them from smallest to largest or largest to smallest uh, in your hand and I think this is the 32 yeah it's the 32 so then once you get your wires in order just make a quick little bend bend them right back over itself and do a quick couple twists and for this I'm gonna need my pliers What this does is it allows the drill to grip it a little bit easier so it's easier to work with. Next thing you're going to need is a drill. You want to open up the chuck a little bit, just enough to sneak that wire in there. And tighten it down real tight. So once you have your wires organized on the other end, uh, you're just going to give it a few quick twists after taking out all the slack. And this ensures that those wires will stay in the series that you want them to. Now what you're going to do is grab the wires by the little wrap that you made, hold them nice and tight, and start the drill. You want to start it pretty slow and work your way up. So here's the finished product. Uh, as you can see, I just clipped the ends off uh, of the twisted ends and you get something like this. Uh, you probably can't see it, I'll show you in the close-ups. It looks a little bit messy, uh, kind of maybe has a few gaps in there, but uh, I have a feeling that that won't really matter. So let's just uh, go down to the close-ups and build a coil with it. So here we have our twisted wire, three strands, all different gauges, and we're going to be building a standard microcoil today. So as you can see, I have all my building tools ready to go. I have my Vulcan, Vulcan atomizer on the ohm reader. I have a 14 gauge syringe needle, tweezers, screwdriver, wire cutters, and a pair of pliers. Here we have our twisted wire, and we're just going to start off by making a quick, simple microcoil. So as always, you want to keep the wire parallel to whatever you're wrapping around. Make one quick three quarters of the way around wrap and then start wrapping for real. So now we're going to do six wraps. And unwrap our first wrap here. Bring it right back around facing the same direction. Straighten out our coil a little bit and there you go. So here's our micro coil. Now let's install it on our RDA. You want to insert the longer lead first. That is our negative lead today. And then the positive. I usually take my pair of pliers and Grip it in there a little bit more. Make sure to keep that coil nice and tight. Now with the Vulcan you have these little thumb screws so all you gotta do is tighten down that little thumb screw for your negative. And I think I'm going to do a dual coil today, so I'm just going to wrap another coil real quick and install it. 
All right, so as you can see, I have installed the other coil. I uh, did a quick neatening of them, but we're gonna fix them a little bit more when we pop out on our mod. And let's do a uh, resistance check. So, seeing as how my ohm reader likes to work when it feels like it, I have to try it on the Segeli. And as you can see, it's reading at 0.3. So it's pretty darn low for six wraps with uh, 28, 30, 32. But, Let's give it a shot on the Panzer and heat up the coils. All right, so we got it on the mod and now it's fired up. All right, so we have some hot spot issues. So all we're going to do is take our tweezers, squish the coils together, and hopefully that'll fix it. I find that when you're using twisted wire, you tend to get more little tiny trouble spots because of the surface area of the coil. It's pretty difficult to get a real good tight micro coil, but Hopefully we can work out most of these issues before we wick it. So I think we're in pretty good shape. Let's uh, throw some Japanese cotton in there and have a vape. Here I have my Japanese cotton. I'm just gonna make two small strips and put them in my atomizer. Alright, so now that we have it all wicked, let's uh, drip some juice on there. Today we're going to be using Ripe Vapes Coconut Tie, care of the Vape Bar Escape in West Springfield. Thanks guys. Alright, so as always we just want to saturate it with juice. Now this is 100% VG, so it's really thick. So hopefully this will wick right. You want to make sure every little nook and cranny is covered. Alright, let's put her back on the mod and fire it up. Oh yeah, she's crackling. Alright, let's have a vape. Alright, before I put the top cap on, I just wanted to show you guys the spitting of this uh, build. It, since it's a twisted wire build, there's a lot of little gaps in the coil where air can get through, and that's what causes spitting, so. So as you just saw there, lots of little pops and spits, so just be careful. And uh, when you have your top cap off, make sure no one's around you. So we're just going to re-drip and have a vape. Line those air holes right over. Now I am using the Osiris drip tip from Ninja Mods. Uh, this actually puts more air into your RDA by using this unique little uh, design that has an airflow airflow control right in the drip tip. Uh, you can open her wide open, close her off a little bit, depending on how much air you want. And that's perfect for this Vulcan atomizer because, uh, in my opinion, the Vulcan does not have nearly enough airflow. For, especially for the crazier point, you know, one eight builds and all those. So let's have a quick vape and see how she performs. Whoo! Uh, flavor is just amazing on it. I love the flavor. Uh, I definitely chalked it up to the the juice. Uh, the vapor production is really good. It's very dense. Um, 
Personally, it's a little hot for me. I've never been a big fan of a very hot vape. I like, you know, a cool to warm. This one's definitely scorching for me. But it is, it's, it's rather enjoyable. Um, maybe I'll, if I open it up a little bit more, maybe it'll be a little bit better. All right, so I opened the bore on the Osiris drip tip, and let's just give it another take here. Oh yeah, it definitely mellows it out a little bit. Still, the throat hit is really killer for me. Uh, and I, I attribute that to the heat of the liquid. It is hot. It's a hot vape for sure. As far as the difficulty of this build, I'd say it's about average. If you can twist up 28 gauge, two strands of that, then you can twist up three strands of this stuff. Uh, so it's not hard for any, you know, fairly experienced builder. Uh, for a newbie build, uh, 0.3 is a little bit low. I would recommend either doing a couple more wraps or maybe just uh, stick to like Twisted 28 or something like that. This build though for 0.34 ohm, I usually like to keep it around 0.34. I've seen all these crazy coils, 0.18s, 0.08s, 0.16s, all those on Instagram and Facebook and all that. And I'm just not a huge fan of that myself. I mean, I will try it if, you know, the opportunity arises. If you guys want me to build something like that, let me know in the comments below. But as for this build here, it's a pretty decent build. Uh, it, I don't like that you can't really get those coils right next to each other. That's why I like the smooth, regular Canthal, because you can squish those coils up and they're sitting right next to each other. This here, they're a little bit loose, but the twisted wire just gives you so much uh, of that flavor. Uh, I'm, I'm fancy myself a flavor chaser myself, so uh, for me, this build is spot on, uh, but I would prefer it a little bit cooler. Maybe an extra wrap on either side will do it more justice, but for now, this will have to do. I think it's a pretty decent build. So if you enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments below. Drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, check out spinfuel.com for lots more articles and videos from me, uh, Smoke and Joey, and uh, the Vapor Trail channel, so check that out. Thank you for watching, and as always, vape on.